You're with Pacers President Kevin Pritchard. You clearly have shown a lot of excitement in the last handful of hours. Can you take us back inside the draft room and how things are transpiring as Goga is still on the board and your pick is closing in? Well, one of the things we try to do is we try to understand what's going on above us in the draft, meaning who's 10 minutes and 15 and 20 minutes before. And so we're going through that. We're communicating with uh, people who may have a feel for what's going on. And uh, we're talking with Goga's agent. And he keeps saying, there's a chance, but it's unlikely. And as the draft unfolds, uh, we're getting to be about two or three people. And we have Goga in a unique tier above just well above anybody else at that level. And so Goga gets there, we draft him, and a little bit of pandemonium happens because all of a sudden we get five phone calls about uh, would we trade him. And like I've said many times, we didn't draft him to trade him. That wasn't an asset. We think that he is perfect for us. Uh, we think that there's a synergy with him and Miles and Domas. Uh, we think that they can play together. This is nothing more than a good player who embodies about what we're about and that will be a good fit for us. Is this a prime example of at a pick like 18, you're going for best player available and no talent? Doubt. No doubt. But we had identified him and truthfully, analytics, scouts, uh, everybody in that room was shocked when Goga was there. It's like one of those things where sometimes – um, it, it's, it doesn't look popular today. Let's see what happens. And for me, I can smile because I think that in a few years, we're all going to be really happy. Can you describe the impact your international scouts have, not only on this pick, but on the process and the franchise as a whole? Jose and Alex, I mean, look, we, we, we're getting into the European player much more on a deeper level. You look at Boyan, you, you look at maybe some of the free agents we're going to go after this summer. Um, I like the way they play. They learn the skills of basketball at a younger age. It's not about AAU basketball. It's not about playing 100 games over the summer. It's about being a part of a team, learning your skill, and being successful. And Goga embodies that. Look, he's, he's shot 41% from three. He led the Euro League in uh, block shots. And that's at 19 going against 28 and 32 year old men who are in their prime. So lots to, lots to look forward to. I know a lot of preparation goes into the draft, yet you have to kind of turn the page here quickly as free agency and a trade season come on. Can you take us through your mindset here a day after the draft? Yeah, I mean, look, at the end of the day, you think you can take a breath, you can't. <laughs> but that's okay, we live for this. I know these decisions mean so much to this organization, to this city, and to the state. I know this means a lot. I'm a Hoosier. I grew up, grew up in Indiana. I want to do the best job. So I can be tired in August. I'm, I'm ready to be tired in August. I'm not ready to be tired today. I'm ready to get after it.